today on Divorce Court. Tyrion, I want you to stop accusing me of cheating when you and me both know that I have not cheated in the last five to six months. We have two daughters, and I know for a fact that you wouldn't want no other man disrespecting them the way you have me in the past. I also would like for you to be more intimate with me when I'm trying to initiate. You feel like you can talk to me any kind of way? You'll get it whenever I get ready. I would like the judge to give us advice on how to move forward, how to get past everything. I know you love me and I love you, but there's some things that we need to work on. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with D'Erex Gray and Terry Owen Johnson. The two of you have been together for nine years, mm -hmm. off and on. You have two children together, correct? Uh, you are struggling in your relationship. You want to keep it together, I would think, for the kids. So, Mr. Gray, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me what's going on and why you're here today? I'm here today because I continuously get accused of cheating. We have lack of sex. We have lack of communication. And it's constantly lying all over the place. And we also... With the communication, we have our families involved. I'm guilty of that. And that is another problem that she also has to... But your family's getting your business. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Why don't you start me off with a story about the most pressing thing? Uh, getting accused of cheating. I mean, I have, I have cheated on her. She knows. She thinks that I cheated with four girls. Right. When I haven't cheated with four girls. It's only been two. Only two, okay. She thinks, she thinks, she thinks because of me texting, texting four girls, that's what she thinks cheating is. Yeah, well, what did you, what did you text those four girls? What kind of texts were they? They was, text was like the girls wanted to come over to the house. They wanted me to come to their house. You was know, it stuff sexual like in nature? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. It was something like Is it something, like something that if she did it, you would have a problem with it? Yes, ma'am. I believe so. Yeah. I believe so. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. So yes, do you understand why she has a problem with it yes, when you yes, do it? I understand. I completely understand why she has a problem with it. Mm -hmm. But it's like I haven't cheated in so long, and I have How moved long is so long, Mr. 23? Six, like five, six months. Like five, five or six, six months? months. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly! Wow. My man been at Forever. it strong yes, for yes, almost a half a year. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, Ms. Johnson, why don't you tell me what the relationship looks like from your perspective? Well, I know we're trying to work on things and better communication and work on the lies and the cheating or whatever, but I just feel like he lost to me for no reason. One time, he was supposed to be going pay a cell phone bill. I called him, Derek, where you at? Oh, I'm going to pay the cell phone bill. Okay, an hour go by, he come back with paraphernalia, and I'm just like, really? You could have just told me what you was going to do. He just lied about stuff like that. Yeah, Mr. Gray, is that accurate? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Um, I take it you love her. Yes, ma'am, I do. Okay. And you've done a lot of things that are dishonest and hurtful. Yes, ma'am. I want you to tell me what changed in the last five to six months you, you believe that should change the way she looks at this relationship. Because you say you've been faithful for five to six months. Mm. That's because we haven't been together for five to six months. What, what, what's been happening the last five or six months? We've been just working together. on our relationship. We broke up because of the lying and the cheating. So, of course, he's not going to cheat because we're not together. So, you've been ha been. have you had sexual relationships with other people during no, this five or six break no, period? No, ma'am, I haven't. You've been sexually active all these years. Mm -hmm. And now you're telling me that you haven't been sexually active for six months because you've broken up with her and you're not seeing I'm, anybody else. I'm not I'm seeing... finding that hard to believe. I'm not seeing anybody else. Yeah, but and are you I'm having sex work... with other people? I'm not having sex with not nobody. Not at all. Not at all. So you've stopped having I sex altogether? I stopped all having together. sex with everybody. All together. When? Me and her, me and her are the only... Me and her have intercourse. When? Since July? No. It was before July. Okay. It was way before July. I'm having a hard time believing you, Mr. Gray. I, just, I, 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 I have okay. to say that. How okay. do you believe she's contributed to the difficulties in your relationship? Because she brushes me off. When I'm trying to be intimate with her, she brushes me off. She don't want no part of anything. Like, she's not interested. 
Mm -hmm. So that makes me feel like she don't want me, so what am I supposed to do? Mm -hmm. If I keep coming on to you and you turning me down and you blocking me from having intercourse with you and showing you some type of affection, what am I supposed to do? So that drove me to, to cheating. cheating. Yeah, so that's, that's her what, fault. That's her fault. And I explained that to her before. <laughs> Before before I cheated, I explained that to her. You, I say, let you her said know. if I can't get some more here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have gonna, to go somewhere I'm else some, and get some. What you won't do, another the woman, woman will. will do. Yes, ma'am. Ms. Johnson, did you that. have that conversation with him? Yeah, we had that conversation, but I also told him respect goes a long way. If you feel like you can talk to me any kind of way, call me out of my name, I'm not gonna have sex with you, period point blank. And I stand on that hundred percent. Okay. Do <laughs> now see that. Now, see there, you were the author of your own sexlessness. Mm. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes, he Women was. can't just, like, be mistreated all day long and then feel sexy in the evening. Right. Were you not treating her well during the day and then expecting things to go well at night? Part of that is true, but not all of it, because there has been plenty of times where we can have a, a great day, a mm. great week, a great two weeks, and I still try to come on to her. And she still turned me down. Mm -hmm. So it's not it's not just because of me talking to you any kind of way. It's because of how you feel. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not me. I mean, yeah, I well, do admit. Why do you think what what do you do think admit, she's feeling? I have no clue. I do admit I do talk to her bad sometimes when we have argument because that's what a relationship I is. She no, talk, no, that's no, 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 she no, no, talked no, to no, me no, that no, way no. too. That's not what a relationship is. She talked to me like that too. Yeah. So arguments go, go arguments goes both ways. She talked to me some type of way. I talked to her some type of way. Only but that doesn't, doesn't stop. That doesn't stop the way I feel about it, and that doesn't stop me. For me, from it does. How there, could you talk to you me know? like that if you I love got me? you? I got you. Look, I'm gonna talk to you about the way you talk to one another. Yes, ma'am. It would get so heated to where once in the beginning of my, one of my pregnancies, the first one, and we would get into an argument. We had just moved into our first apartment, and he would go so far as telling me that I could pack my stuff and leave. Pregnant, seven months pregnant, telling me I could pack my stuff and leave. Ms. Johnson, you say that he's, he's verbally abusive to you. Mm -hmm. What kind of things does he say to you? Uh, calling me out of my name. Uh -huh. Like, simple arguments. It would get so heated to where once when I, in the beginning, not in the beginning of the relationship, beginning of my, my, one of my pregnancies, the first one, and we would get into an argument. We had just moved into our first apartment, and he would go so far as telling me that I could pack my stuff and leave. Oh. Pregnant, seven months pregnant, telling me I could pack my stuff and leave. Mr. Gray, what do you have to say about your communication issues? What does she say to you that you believe causes you to retort in that manner? Or Same to reply thing. in that bad, manner? Bad talking, cursing, arguing, a lot of arguments. She can be mad with her family members and take it out on me. Yeah. Come to me cursing, yelling, and screaming. So mm -hmm. you want to take something out on me, I'm going to give you what you're giving me. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. It, it goes, gotcha. It goes it both ways. I understand that both of your families tend to get involved yes, in your... Yes, Give me an example of how it gets messy. Because I am the type of person that always goes to my mom and talk to her about something, because my mom, it's only been me, my mom, my sisters, and my little brother our whole life. Mm -hmm. No one else. So that them are people that I can go to and confine in and talk to and give them insight on my problems and take advice and take heed to what they saying mm -hmm. and I bring it to her attention and let them let her know okay I talk to my people but about it's this going this is what so we should far do to where his we are getting into arguments and he will go to them and they will feel like they can call me and argue with me about what's going on with me Does and your him. family call yeah, her and yeah, argue yeah, with her? I know, like, you I think know, that's appropriate? I know, I, know who she's I know who she's talking about. I have told that person, this person plenty of times not to do that. Mm -hmm. I cannot control what somebody else does. Yeah. The only thing I can do... about that. Nobody only thing, can tell only me. Thing I can do, only thing I can do is tell that person to do suck. not text her phone no more. Okay. That is not your place. I also understand you, your family and her family had an argument on whether or not she would have a cesarean or a natural birth. Yes, ma'am. How we does did. that happen? I, I don't know. Her mom has not been liking me since after 
my first daughter was born. Yeah, but how did, who got into an argument then? Me, me, and, her and, mom, her mom. me and her mom got into that and argument mom. because her, her mom was trying to tell the doctor how to do the doctor's job. Uh -huh. How can you tell the doctor how to do her job? Was, if, was your mom trying to tell the doctor what to do? My mom was basically her saying aunt. that she don't need to get a C-section. She been going through labor this long, let her have her baby. She don't need to get a C-section. Basically saying that because with her last pregnancy, she had to get a C-section. And she know the pain, she know the recovery and all of that. So that's why she was saying that. But I didn't want to get a C-section either. Mm -hmm. And I understood so, that. Yeah, yeah, I that's what the argument that. I sat there, I sat there and talked to her the whole time I, I about got, it. I got it. I got a picture. It's an ugly picture, but I got it. <laughs> yeah. We're going to talk about deconstructing it so we can reconstruct it. I don't know what we could do to make it work. I just wanted it to work for our kids and for us because he's the only person that I've been with since I was 18 years old. So mm -hmm. it's just like, it's the only thing that I know and I want it to work for my kids because I didn't have my dad. <laughs> And, and you don't want that for your girls. Do you feel you're responsible for how your family members treat your partner? Tell us what you think at facebook.com slash divorce court. Divorce court will be right back. Mr. Gray, if I could get you one thing from Ms. Johnson to, in order for make, to make this union work, what would it be? Oh, just for her to show more interest in me and just be more outgoing because we we stay in the house a lot. I want to go out and have fun, you know? I just, I just need her to be able to interact with me more, not just intimate, but outside the house, you know, I without kids tell you, and everything. I think that's bizarre that you said that. We just talked about your family's getting into it, yeah. arguing about, you know, deliveries, and you say the one thing that you need from her is it's to just, party more yeah. with you. No, not party, not party, not party, like, just go get out, out the hang house. Out with yeah, you. Go just get out dates, the house. Basically. And you really think that that will fix that, that all probably, of the stuff we're talking about here? I, I really do, because it'll give us a chance to get out the house and be able to go and sit down and talk about our problems instead of always arguing That's inside alarming. the house. That you think that, and I'm going, you know, it's just alarming. Mm -hmm. But you're young, and I get why you think that if more happy times will make it better, but more happy times when you go out, you're going to have a couple of drinks. That's no, no way to have a conversation. Right, right, right. right. You know what I'm saying? You're going to yeah. be drunk. I understand. You that, know? But and you, it, drunk, drunk makes you stupid. No, drunk I'm not makes me about... stupid, makes you stupid, makes her stupid. I'm not makes talking about stupid. getting I know, drinks I understand, anything. but that's not going to solve what's wrong here. Right, right. That's right. not going to solve what's wrong okay. here. If I could get one thing, from him that he would do in your direction to start this thing on the right track, what would it be? When we get in arguments, the disrespect is at an all-time high. Like, that just needs to go away. Like, you should remember, at the end of the day, that's just the argument, and words do hurt. Like, mm -hmm. the name-calling is... It's beyond the pale. It's just, just mm -hmm. unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Do you see this, how upset she is? Yes, ma'am. Here's the problem that we got. I got two people who have absolutely no idea how to talk to one another and have absolutely no idea how to run a relationship trying to be parents to two children. Mm -hmm. And you don't have the patience, you don't have the background, you don't have uh, the examples, because you said you just had a mom, you know, and you don't have any clue what to do mm -hmm. other than to get angry. Right. And all I'm trying to convince you of at this juncture is that you have no clue. Right. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. That you absolutely have no clue. Do you agree with that? Yes, ma'am. Do you agree you have no clue? Yeah, and I said, I, I spoke to him about this. Like, we started out young. We've been dating since we was... We've been knowing like each other for 10 13, years, and we've been 14. dating since we was 13 years old. We started out being in a serious relationship at 18, so we really don't know how to be in a relationship, and we just trying to work on it. I said we just young, trying to figure it out. I've said this plenty of times. Mm -hmm. so, so I just, I don't know what we could do to make it work. I just wanted it to work for our kids and for us, because he's the only person that I've been with since I was 18 years old, so mm -hmm. it's just like, it's the only thing that I know, and I wanted to work for my kids because I didn't have my dad. <laughs> and and I you don't want that for your girls. Right. Yeah. I didn't have my dad either. So. Yeah. We know what you're doing isn't working. Yes, ma'am. So I'm gonna have to ask you to act in opposition to how you feel in order to make this thing work. Mm -hmm. You with me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, we gonna go on this ride together. All right. All right. 
How important is going out together for maintaining a healthy relationship? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. I wish I had a couple of hours instead of a couple of minutes. The first thing you need to do is not to take advice from people who haven't had a successful relationship. You're taking advice from your family. They don't come from a, a cohesive two-partner relationship. When you go home and tell your parents or your family what's going wrong, they get one side of the story. But both. when you have a good time, you don't call them up. You are not going to believe how good the sex was today. You don't do that. All they have is an ugly picture of her with no balance. Right. So they're going to be angry. They're going to be she's all negative and not positive. Same thing for you because you don't call with the positive. You only call with I the negative. I don't call, period. Yeah, well, don't okay, call. okay. <laughs> then, 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 yeah, then, 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 and you've got to make sure sometimes women believe that being loud and obstreperous is the same thing as being strong. Mm -hmm. Not true. Your strength lies in your ability to contain your emotions, not your ability to, to express them. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. if you were raised in an atmosphere where strength comes off as a, a brusque and abrasive, that's where you're gonna go with it. Mm -hmm. And that's not what you need to do. Mm -hmm. You two need to learn how to have a conversation. Yes, you have to have a conversation. There gotta be rules to it. You ever go to church? You go in there, you don't go be cussing and pulling up your pants and right. putting your hands between your legs and all that kind of stuff. You don't do that, because mm -hmm. it's church. Right. You know what I mean? Yes. So mm -hmm. your house has got to be church. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm -hmm. There gotta be rules to it. I'm not gonna call the woman who holds my daughters in her arms, who once held them in her womb, I'm not gonna do her any damage at all. Yes, because I know when I hurt the person who holds my girls, hurt. I hurt my girls. Yes, ma'am. That's what she does. Yes, and I know you're gonna say, if I said who's the head of the household, you're gonna say it's you. You need to go first and lead in that. Yes, never get angry, never get upset, never call her out a name. If she does happen to make that mistake, back up, babe. We're not going there. Yes, ma'am. On behalf of Jane and Barbara, those are your kids, I'm just making okay. sense. <laughs> <laughs> We're yes, not going there on behalf of Jane and Barbara, that's your job. Yes, That's your gig. Never to get excited, never to get crazy. And every time she does, you remind we are not going We're not there. Doing that. Yes, because of Jane and Barbara. Yes, Do you understand what yes, I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. I understand. You're not gonna talk to your mama no more. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Yes, You're gonna talk to her. I'm gonna give you two books. My ma Make It Marriage Works. How to talk to a woman, how to talk to a man, how to have a conversation. But remember, you're going to church. Remember, you love Jane and Barbara because Jane and Barbara is the reason that you do everything. And before you open your mouth, before you pick up the phone, before you text anybody, make sure that Jane and Barbara is the first thing through your mind so you can behave a little better than you have today. I'm gonna send you to somebody that's gonna help you out and get you started. It is my hope that you do well. And it is my intention to follow up. If my, my people call you, you gonna let me know what's up? Yes, ma'am. So you know I'm gonna call. Yes, ma'am. And so if you don't do the right thing, I'm gonna talk about you. <laughs> <laughs> you understand that? Yes, ma'am. All right. Good luck to both of you. This matter is adjourned. <laughs> the judge is rooting for us, so I, f I think me and her, we should really Work on the communication yeah. and talking to talking to each other better. I think that's the, the biggest part, the respecting each other more and trying to build the trust back in the relationship. And being able to go and have more more fun instead of being stuck inside all the time. Yeah, that's something we need to work on as well.